For those who don't know, I'm Mike with Sunny Soap Homestead. Today we're giving an update on the predator issue that we've been having, and we're at today on it. So, hope you guys enjoy. Ooh, it's slick. Oh. Yes, oh man, I about ate it. Oh, my back, ouch. <laughs> like I was saying, uh, it's still a harder winter. The predators are still hungry because <laughs> there's not a lot to eat out right here. It's harder winter, the predators are still hungry. And look what we got here. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, what are you doing, man? You can't be on the lid like that. No, get down, you need to get down. Man, it's like they rule the place. They think they just own the place. You guys want some scratch, don't you? I swear it's like potato chips to these guys. You guys get enough to eat? You guys got any predator issues going on here? Well, come on, don't be bashful. You can come out too. Whoa, whoa. You guys have been getting into Taco Bell? Anybody? You guys been eating Taco Bell leftovers? If not, what is that? That thing just melted right through the snow. Good Lord. Oh man, yes, predator issues, we're still having them. They are still present, the hawks are still around. Uh, I got nowhere to set my drink. <laughs> there we go. Yes, the predator issues, we are still having them. They are still present, they are still trying to get our chickens. What I've been doing is been keep keeping the girls locked up in the coop, basically. 24 7 which means frequent cleanings of the coop and trying to keep the moisture out and everything down so they don't get any viral infections or um, colds or anything like that we're trying not to encourage that i did pick up some supplement just in case we start getting into some sniffling beaks so but a lot of you guys had some great suggestions out there about putting up you know netting and um, outdoor covered runs and chicken wire and building stuff and i i'm just not for it you know i mean i want to protect my flock as much as possible but i'm just not I, that's what i had up there and i absolutely hated it hated it and i just can't stand building something to protect the the chickens but at the same time you're only giving them in a little tiny area to live in because it's a, a, a run when they have all this to free range in. So it is a catch 22. I am thinking about building something out. <laughs> what? I am thinking about building something out here. Wait a minute. That wasn't Hey Hey I was talking to. Cause there's Hey Hey. He's up there at very top. Who are you? Oh, roosters. You don't know you have one until they just come out of the hen house someday. Back to what I was saying. I am going to build something out here, I think, for a little outdoor run for times like this where they just need to get outside and this door can open up automatically until I can get the situation addressed. The best suggestion that I had was someone commented about um, putting up like string from the trees to make it harder for the, the hawks to swoop in. I really thought that was a great idea. And I could do something like that. I can put some extending posts or some two by fours. I can run um, you know, spider wire through the trees, make a cross hatch, uh, hatch pattern because at least the branches won't get caught on that as much and it won't collect leaves. And it'll deter those hawks from swooping in and getting chickens. But what they do, those hawks, they'll come in and they'll sit on the fence and then they'll jump down and get in here and uh, eat up on the chickens. So. 
Hey, hey. What's going on, bud? What's going on, hey, hey? Wait a minute. You're not hey, hey. Who are you? What's your name? What's your name? What should we name that guy? Because there's hey, hey. Hey, hey has got a ton of frostbite, too. That's what happens when you get these chickens with these huge combs. They get frostbite. We'll name you later. All right, bud? Man. Hey, hey, you're getting big. Oh, I see that bare butt over there. That must be Whalen Jr. Yep, that's Whalen Jr. over there. You ain't looking very good, buddy. His tail feathers never grew back. I think they're permanently missing. Man. I might have to put a heat lamp in there if you guys are getting frostbite this bad. The girls seem to be doing okay, though. Most of these chickens, they are, um, they're chickens that we've plucked in the eggs and they're just random, what we call mutt chickens. So you kind of get an interesting breed, cross breed between a lot of them. But I'm seeing some signs that, uh, we might have to start running a heat lamp or two in that coop. How's everything going on in here? I see that you're punched in, ready for work. I appreciate that, thank you very much. Oh, well, somebody didn't have their coffee today. Oh, yes, too many roosters. You can tell that hen back there. Look at her backside. She's getting worked. So one problem I found about the, the heated water I made that I probably need to, I need to address obviously because my son's not putting the cap on because it's sitting right there behind me. You have your coffee yet? Huh? 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 I ain't scared to get packed. All right, let me show you what's going on. So you can tell I got a lot of dirt in that water, unacceptable, but the lid has pulled the bucket into an oval shape. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna run a threaded rod between here and there and just, uh. See if I can keep that bucket from like pulling in. Then we can be able to use this lid. You agree? You agree? No? All right. She doesn't agree. The most for the most part, it's pretty nice in here. How do you guys get in all this frostbite? There's, I mean, we got open eaves, but it must be just getting that cold in here. There's plenty of ventilation too, so I'm not worried about the moisture. Well, we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to work on that. Well, they seem to be doing all right in there. Like I said, I'm gonna have to run a heat lamp. But I did uh, contact the Game and Parks Commission of my local area, and they basically said first take a big step back and literally face. that they weren't going to do anything or they couldn't do anything that they won't do anything with raptors and then i was pretty much um out of luck their suggestion was netting and building a run to protect against predators that are a nuisance but they're protected raptors so there's not much you can do about it yeah so there's not much I can do about it, but just deal with it. We're just gonna have to get more chickens and keep on replacing the chickens that keep on getting taken. Man, he's a big boy, hey, hey. Yeah, shake it. Shake that mane. Oh man, he looked like that Jurassic Park. Let's see on Jurassic Park, that lizard like We talked about getting a a Burma. Burma's a war zone. Well, like a big giant Burma. Maybe that'll help keep predators away. <sighs> Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah. Let's go see how the goats are doing. 
<laughs> Man, I'm not gonna lie, that's a loud, that's a loud crow. I think we got a new guy on the block. Woo! Man, it is just so icy out here. Unbelievable. Who is slick up here? You guys get fed today? Oh boy. You guys are a little low on hay. How you guys been doing in this weather? You're probably hungry, huh? Should we feed you? What is this? Plastic? That's not good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you guys want to some yum yum easy there, Mama G. You guys are little pigs, man. Disgusting blob. Oh. Oh, it's slicker than snot. A little mineral in there. Watch out. How you guys been doing with all this blizzardy mess that we've had? You're nice and fluffy. Yeah, I'll knock it off. There's plenty to go around. What have been into, Boots? Oh yeah, you soft. You soft. Oh yeah, huh. So for, for those who don't know, Mama G, these are her two babies that she had. They're both males. And uh, this is Boots and that's Patches. And we're looking to breed Mama G again, but she's not, she's not showing any signs of being in heat. And she hasn't in a really long time. Well, actually, ever since we've gotten her, she's never showed signs of being in heat. So we're not really sure when to breed her. So I think I'm going to drop her off at a friend's house who has a lot of male goats and just uh, see what happens. Because it'd be awesome to have some babies this summer. Hi, Mama G. You ready for another set of youngsters? Oh, you guys are hungry. Well, regardless, I have to go check out their goat house because I didn't get their windows put up in time. And it, oh, I'm duck walking because it's so slick. Oh, they're using old coop as their new house and shelter. Thing is, is like I said, I didn't get the windows up in time. And we had a really bad snowstorm blow through here. So I'm going to come in here and check it out. Oh yeah. They seem to be packing it down pretty good. Pretty dry. I do like going to the bathroom in here though. But yeah, I was gonna put windows. How about plexiglass to put over these windows? But just didn't get it up in time. They've been eating their mineral feed. Yeah, a little bit more than usual. I might have to grab some of these lights here. Take them down to the chickens, keep them warm. But yeah, I would say this is pretty, uh, pretty fancy goat house. These goats are pretty lucky. They're pretty spoiled. Whew, man, it's slick. Whoa. So this, uh, this spring, I'll probably wind up uh, fencing this area off, this old chicken run area. And we're going to uh, put some crop in here, cover crop and uh, some grass. Try to get the area to recover a little bit because it's just nothing but mud right now. So we're gonna try to put some grass seed around here. Like I said, 
we'll put some fence around it try to get this area to recover and then we'll put the goats back on it man i can't believe how fluffy these goats get now if things do get really cold and really snowy uh, i'm not too concerned about it because they still have their old shelter right there which is uh full of fresh clean hay and ready for them to use now is it tight quarters sure is sorry mama g i just slide around i don't have anything i don't have nothing he's got some you guys got your running shoes on you guys got your running shoes on huh big old thick thick old goats i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you, Mama G. I'm gonna get you. Oh, look at that. Something else has been sleeping in here. It looks like a possum. Possum or a raccoon? I can't tell. What do those tracks look like, guys? They look like possum tracks. They're not kitty tracks. Something's making a nice warm bed in here. I can't say I don't blame them. What? What? You guys want to play, don't you? Huh. What's up, Boots? What's up, Boots? Oh, yeah. You like to be scratched, don't you? Man, look how thick you are. That's a thick boy. Huh. 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 What's up, Boots? You starting to like me yet? Huh? He is not very personable. He does not like people. See? He's been like that since day one. Mama G, Boots, very friendly goats. Patches back there, he's a nomad. He's a nomad. He don't want nothing to do with nobody. But we're looking to expand this herd uh, and get some more goats. Whether uh, we have mama give some give us some babies or we have to purchase is a different story i'll let you guys be you guys get your food get your grub on don't let me uh let me bother you now i just got to make it down this slope without falling but we got some work in the shop to get done so this one i'm gonna let you guys go i just figured i'd give you a little update on the chickens because the game warden Par, uh, Game and Parks is not going to help us out with catching raptors or calling them or giving us permission of any type. So, so I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next episode.